Earlier this week, I told you guys about a blog that wanted to feature me in an interview on their website. And I shared with you that I was going to let you know later this week about who that was. And that is what this episode is all about, my interview with Milo Kids. And I'm so excited to share with you their mission and their journey and how ours collide together. So let's get started right after this. If you've been listening, if you follow this journey, you know that I have been on this wild, wild, wild chase of a home study process. And yesterday's video, I shared that it is finally approved. All I am doing is waiting on the call that they've got a child that they want to put in my placement and in my care. So I cannot wait for that. Make sure you guys go back click on that card over there and listen and watch my journey there. That is the video where I documented like the, the 24 hours before my home study all the way through and after my home study. And it's really cool. You see me cleaning my place, waking up in the morning, the dog, going to get my car, all this different stuff about my process and the anxiety and craziness of the entire day. So check that out. If you like the content on this channel, if you get it, if you get that there is a lack of representation for the LGBTQ community in the fostering and adopting space, please do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon. And here's why. Because whenever you do those things, you're telling Google and Yahoo, Yahoo, YouTube, that you want more of this content. They're analyzing all of that and they're seeing how much engagement that our videos are getting. And when they see that this is the content that's real and this is the content that we need in this world, they start suggesting that to more and more people. So it is a really easy and effective way that you can help this channel grow and you can get this mission out there more. I talk to so many people about fostering and everyone, no matter if they are heterosexual or they are LGBTQ, everyone says, thank you for telling your story because there is not enough people that are gay. There is not enough people that are single men that are telling their stories about fostering and adopting and we need more of it. All right, so let's talk about Milo Kids. Milo Kids is a blog that was suggested I reach out to. And there was like a link and I told you about that in one of my earlier videos. I will put the card up there. You guys can watch that and see how I got connected to Milo Kids. They are two women, two soldiers, two trailblazers, two entertainment professionals here in Los Angeles, and most importantly, two mothers. They got really tired of Everyone saying negative or stressful or anxiety provo provoking things about parenting and how like, oh, I haven't taken a shower in 14 days as a new parent or I haven't brushed my teeth today or I'm exhausted or get some sleep and they just got tired of it because they realized that parenting is actually blissful and their kids are inspiring and their kids teach them more about themselves than anyone has ever. and. Yeah, they do get to shower and they do have fun times still and enjoy their lives. Their kids elevate their lives as opposed to dragging them down. And what they do at their website is they curate content that is all centered around parents coming together in positive, uplifting ways, however they are, whomever they are, whatever they believe and, and whatever lifestyles they live to elevate each other, provide valuable resources. And what I love about them is when you go, go to Milo Kids, the link is in the description below. When you're there, you're gonna see the vibe of their website. It's colorful, it's young, it's youthful. There's a lot, there's like an energy that is expelled from their website. Like how they've been able to do this is just really awesome. So head over there. The link to my interview is in my in the description of this video. When they got together with me, we were on the phone and they said, look, we wanna do this interview with you. They sent me my interview questions and I took a moment to sit down 
And I mapped out like an hour, an hour and a half of my time to really dedicate myself to these interview questions. And I was able to use that time in that interview to further this mission. Because I talk about it all the time on this channel. There's just simply not enough people that are LGBTQ, that are single men talking about fostering and adopting on YouTube or really anywhere on the internet. There are some, I'm not the only person, but there's not enough. And I am fully aware that in the United States, LGBTQ people are like in jeopardy of losing rights to foster and adopt children. So this is something that needs to be talked about. And I'm so grateful to Milo Kids because through that interview, I was able to talk about that. I was able to say like, I am a gay man, I am single and I am fostering and I'm excited about that and I have support. And I also don't have support from some people because there are people that I know very personally that don't think LGBTQ people should be able to adopt children. It's crazy. But the more we do not talk about these things and bring these things up, the less that gets done. You know, th there's a big part of this channel for me that is about strictly just documenting my journey. So one day I can look back and maybe I can look back with my kid and say, this is what I went through before I met you, you know, and this is what I went through and this is the journey that I took to, to bring you into my life. So guys, do me a favor, head over to the link in the description, mylokids.com. Um, and the link will take you directly to my interview and check out their website and support people that are creating good, positive, worthy, viable, valuable content for parents and, and promotes equality in their content and youthfulness in their content. They also have a shop, a store, an Etsy store. If you go to their website and click on shop for the holidays, they're obviously offering a discount. So everyone gets 30% off of their products for the holidays. So head over to their website and click on shop and purchase some products from them. Listen, 2020 is, it put a lot of people out of work. We know this. So when you're shopping this holiday season, please do not go to the big stores, shop small. Shop from people that can really use the support right now. So go to the Etsy stores, go to milokids.com, click on shop and click on their store. The direct link for their store is also in the description below. And while we're at it, guys, check out my t-shirts that I've created about destigmatizing fostering. These are just really fun, bright, vibrant ways to promote fostering children. There are 400,000 children in the foster system in the United States, 400,000 children that need homes, need good loving homes in the United States. Support people that are bringing real awareness to real things in life. That's what matters. If 2020 has shown us anything, it's that these are the things that really matter in life. All the links for everything I mentioned in this episode are in the description below. Thank you guys for just being a part of this journey and for supporting me, for liking. The subscribe count has been skyrocketing over the last two days. It's really, really amazing. We're trending on some of these videos on YouTube and it means the world because I put a lot of work into this and there's a purpose behind all of it. So thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. The comments have been so sweet on these videos. Thank you for your encouraging words. I love you all. Remember to smile because you are loved. Peace out.